silo, we're talking about uh, <clears throat> one of the things that we look at in the cycle is where it is in any given moment. Now, what should this cycle tell you? You've got it in your book. What do you think this is going to really tell you? Everybody says that. And the reason I ask that question is because if this cycle tells you when to buy, then you only get to buy once every eight or ten years. Is that a good position to be in? No. No. It doesn't necessarily tell you when to buy. What it should tell you is how to buy. Make sense? See, if we're buying low, well, that's a good time to buy because prices are depressed. And if you're buying on cash flow, and cash flow is low because of maybe high vacancy or maybe because of uh, low rental rates, then you're buying low because of the cash flow. And as the market improves, your rental rates improve. And what happens to value? It goes up. When we get into the sell high <laughs> arena, now what happens? Well, in sell high, prices, you know, rental's high, so prices are high. So everybody's looking for top dollar for what they want. But <clears throat> let me ask you a question. Is there always somebody in almost every market who, is having, who has a property that is either poorly managed or underperforming in some way or another?